Our top focus and we're on right now, Sri Lankans are casting their ballots in a snap general election. The polls will determine whether the island nation wants to further empower its new president, Anura Kumara Desanayake, or not. Desanayake seeks to secure a majority in parliament to push his policies as Sri Lanka struggles to recover from a crushing financial crisis. Voting began just a short while ago at 7 a.m. local time and it will end at 4 p.m. with counting scheduled to start shortly after. There are 225 parliamentary seats on the ballot. 17 million voters of the island nation will be exercising their right today with over 8,800 contestants competing this election. The parliamentary election process has certain special provisions to it. Of the total 225 seats in parliament, Sri Lankans vote directly for 196 seats. For the remaining 29, the political parties elect lawmakers on the basis of national vote percentage of every party. Just days after the Sanayake was elected as the Sri Lankan president, he had dissolved the parliament on September 24th to clear the way for the general election. The parliament's five-year term was due to end in August 2025, but the polls seemed extremely necessary for the Sanayake's National People's Power Party, as the NPP currently has just three lawmakers in the outgoing parliament as per the 2020 mandate. The president hopes for a fresh mandate that he needs to push his policies. His main challenger is Sajit Premadasa's SJB, which currently holds 54 seats. This time, several big faces have stepped away from the spotlight. Ranil Vikram Isinghe, who lost the presidential elections to Anura Kumar Desanayake, will not be contesting an election for the first time since 1977. The Rajapaksa brothers, Mahinda and Gotabaya Rajapaksa, who were ousted from power after the 2022 economic crisis, are also not participating in this election. And well, for more on this, our correspondent Dasunia Thora is joining us live from outside a polling booth in Colombo. Hi, Dasunia. Very good morning to you. Polls have just opened in the parliamentary uh, elections in Sri Lanka. 225 parliamentary seats on the ballot. Uh, uh, tell us what's the mood on the ground and if you can show us where you're standing and uh, how are people casting the ballots just as yet. Well, good morning, Risha. I am about 500 meters away from a polling station in the suburbs of the Colombo district. And uh, like you rightfully mentioned, yes, polling just started uh, a few minutes ago here in Sri Lanka at 7 a.m. And uh, even before 7 a.m., there were a few individuals, particularly at this polling station, uh, who were standing outside waiting to cast their vote. So there is that sense of eagerness amongst the public to cast their vote, especially given the fact that there is a huge understanding among society that this will possibly be a parliament where Sri Lanka will see a fresh set of faces entering this legislative body uh, for the first time in decades. So that is something interesting to see, especially with the fact that uh, President Visan Aika's party, which only held uh, three seats in the previous parliament, is quite confident in garnering a majority, which means an excess of 100 seats. Right, Asuna, I was just coming to that, that the polls today in Sri Lanka will determine whether the island nation wants to further empower its new president, with the Sanayake only having three seats as per the outgoing 2020 mandate. What's the road ahead for him? Because, uh, because securing seats in the parliamentary elections today in Sri Lanka will be extremely important and pertinent for him and the policies that he wants uh, to uh, have in Sri Lanka. Well, there's this underlying uh, sort of understanding among society and citizens that, yes, now that a president is elected, it is once again up to the people 
to sort of give him the support he needs in the form of giving him a simple majority in parliament, which means an excess of 113 seats in the 225 House. A lot of people are of that belief, while a fair few still believe that the role of the opposition will be much more crucial now more than never given that this is to be uh, what some call a new or rather an inexperienced parliament, which means it will be up to uh, the opposition parties to keep the house in order. Radha Suni, it is indeed a litmus test for AKD as the polls have opened in Sri Lanka. We'll of course be tracking that very closely with you. Thank you for joining us on the show at the moment.